Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show how to calculate the equivalent resistance of a circuit that consists of ohmic elements connected in parallel. Essentially I'm going to show that the reciprocal of the equivalent resistance is the sum of the reciprocal of the resistances of each individual elements. We are going to start by showing Kirchhoff's current law. Also known as KCL. This law says that in a network at one individual point, the sum of the currents at that point is equal to zero. Basically, what this means is that all the currents that enter that node or point have the same value as all the currents exiting that point. Mathematically, this law is this one, the sum of the currents at one point is equal to zero. Effectively, all the currents that enter into that point are positive and the currents exiting that point are considered negative. In this case everything up here is one node because it's a series of wires without any other elements inside. This is another another node which is another series of wires. So the current from the source is divided into the individual elements currents. So in order to comply with KCL we know that I minus I1 minus I2 minus IN is equal to zero. If we simplify, we see that the current source is equal to the sum of I1 plus I2 plus IN. We know that the current of each individual element is equal I K is equal to the voltage of that element over its resistance. This is another form of Ohm's law. So, by substituting this uh, law into our equation, we say that the voltage over the equivalent resistance of the whole network is equal to U1 over R1 plus U2 over R2 plus UN over Rn. We also know that in parallel topo topologies the voltage of each individual element 
is the same with each other and the same with the source. So u is equal to u1, equal to u2, equal to un. So if we factorize, we are left with u over our equivalent is equal to u 1 over r1 plus 1 over r2 plus 1 over rn and so if we simplify we are left that 1 over r equivalent is equal to the sum of r1 plus 1 over r2 plus 1 over rn. And this is how we find the equivalent resistance of a parallel topology.